I've got a small crew up here, but what, who couldn't be here are the thousands of teachers and educators and parents across the state who helped with this campaign. I am Glenda Ritz, and I am Indiana's next superintendent of public instruction. From the beginning, I said this race was a referendum on education for the children of Indiana. The voters have spoken. They care about our children's future and realize the importance of a quality education system to improve our economy. The voters have given testimony that this race should always be an elected position because it is just too important for the people to not have a say regarding the future of Indiana. As I traveled across the state, it was clear that Hoosiers don't want their tax dollars going towards the privatization of our schools. And they don't want their teaching and learning environments to be about teaching to the test, resulting in grading of our schools with a flawed A to F accountability model. The next four years will be a strong focus on quality classroom instruction and learning. We will have an education agenda, not a political agenda. With the reorganization of the Department of Education, local public school districts will have the support that they need to address any challenges and to clear any barriers for students graduating with the opportunities that they deserve when leaving our high schools. Students will experience a well-rounded curriculum taught by highly trained educators. I am so excited for the students of Indiana. I have to thank the tireless work of countless education groups, parents, grandparents, who talked to voters for months about the change we need for our children. I have to thank the best campaign staff in the state, Winston Terrell Group, my manager Trish Whitcomb, David Galvin, Sally Evans, Kristen Reed, and Angela Neely. I'm an educator, I'm not a politician, and they had their work cut out for them when I told them this would be a campaign about education policy. I also must thank the thousands of dedicated volunteers. And last, I have to thank my family, my two sons, Brandon and Philip, and their families, and my husband, Gary, of 35 years. He's been my number one supporter. I've been told my work begins tomorrow as I prepare my lesson plans for the children of Indiana. Thanks.